We have new details from Ed Toon. Many businesses and organizations are coming together to help hundreds who will soon be looking for new jobs. Yeah, we told you yesterday LSC Communications is closing. Now the community is planning for the soon-to-be unemployed workers. WCI 3's Jamie Mays is here. So, Jamie, you spoke to some current employees. Do any of them have a plan in place? One person told me they already have an interview lined up. Another told me he's still trying to figure things out, but many businesses in the area say they are ready to help out. About 750 workers at LSC Communications in Mattoon heard a life-changing announcement this week. Their place of work will shut down by July. It's obviously going to have an impact on our community. But James Rick with Express Employment Professionals says there are opportunities. There's a really high demand for almost any, <laughs> any type of position. Officials say people who work for LSC should be able to find industrial and manufacturing-based positions in the county. Skilled trades like welding, machine operators, programming, maintenance technicians tend to always be wanted in their area. I think that it's an opportune time for candidates to be looking for employment. Express Employment also has some advice for those starting the process. Build your resume and to know your, your work history. Workers should thoroughly prepare for the interview, follow up with communication with the employer, and get help if needed. In addition to staffing services, I know that the community is really stepping up in a big way and looking for the best ways to help out. The group Coles Together is working on a job fair, hopefully before the plant closes, and Lakeland College is working with organizations and city officials to help those affected. Lakeland has a lot of resources available to those who are impacted by the LSC closure. Uh, we work very closely with our local Workforce Investment Opportunity Act area, uh, as well as many resources on campus from short-term degree programs uh, that they can take to retool themselves all the way up to full degree programs. I spoke to employees who told me they were offered a chance to continue working for the company bat, but at other facilities. One employee said none of the positions he was offered were in Illinois. Live in the newsroom, Jamie Mays, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Definitely a tough situation, but it's good they have the community behind them. Jamie, thanks. Well, the company hasn't given a specific reason for the closure. Mattoon's mayor sent a statement yesterday. Part of it mentioned digital media outpacing print media. LSC prints magazines for major publications. We also know LSC was hiring right before the company announced it was closing. It had about 100 positions to fill.